What is up and welcome back to the video. Today we are going to be throwing a whole bunch of boards onto the KDX. So if you're new to the channel and you're not familiar with the board, this is my 1994 Kawasaki KDX 250 that we started rebuilding about June last year and we've slowly been piecing it together. We've got some wheels and a whole bunch of other parts that we need to throw on. So here's a little to-do list. We need to install the uh, spring and set the preload. Uh, air filter I still need to buy. Install the kickstand, the foot pegs, the wheels. And the reason we need to put all that on is so we can get the bike on the ground and torque down the engine mounts and all the suspension components. Then the bike will basically be a roller, even though, as you can see, we got some uh, junky wheels here. It's just temporary, just to get the bike on the ground. And uh, I fitted them yesterday and uh, they are already flat. So that obviously means that I pinched the tube. I've been a bit spoiled with uh, mooses. Before the bike is finished, I'm gonna get a fresh set of tires and have them installed professionally. And uh, after we got the suspension dog down, we need to diagnose the issue with the kickstarter and a no spark issue. So I have an extra coil here. I think the uh, the original coil got damaged. I think I might have dropped it while doing the disassembly process. And uh, yeah, as you can see, that's obviously not right. So I think when I took the casings off uh, to reseal them and to paint them, I installed the kickstarting mechanism incorrectly. So we're gonna have to pull the covers off, diagnose that, and then we can see if we can get spark. Alrighty, so the first job uh, is going to be just to throw on the front wheel because the bike is fairly unstable on my little uh, budget dirt bike stand. So if you guys are wondering and if you're local in South Africa, this is not actually a dirt bike stand. It's just like a little step and uh, you can buy it at Pep Home for 150 bucks. So that's a pretty good deal one way to get some uh, good tires on this thing all right so now that we have the shock pulled out according to the factory manual the rear shock or the preload on the spring needs to be adjusted to a 108 millimeter from the center of the top mounting hole And we're just going to mark it with a sharpie. And then we know where to set the preload. Oh, come on. Alright, now we can tighten our locking collar. Tap that on until it's nice and tight and then we're ready for installation. So now before we pop the shock back in, we uh, have to go ahead and uh, put some Loctite on all the uh, nuts for the suspension components. Okay, now that we've got all the suspension and linkage bolts lock tightened and tightened down it's time to install the shock it's probably a bit too much lock tight but uh, oh well Be 
oil is in. And uh, yeah, that's sick. One step closer to being a complete dirt bike. Now we are going to throw on the rear wheel, the kickstand and foot pegs. Then we can actually get the bike on the ground and torque down the engine mounts and all the suspension components. But I did clean it up with a small file. Alrighty, so now we've got the wheel on, we've got the subframe fitted for the final time and we have the spring and shock installed. So I did uh, put Loctite on everything and snugged everything down, we still need to talk it down. And I also installed the airbox and rerouted the wiring harness. It came through here and this is the correct positioning. Now I also went ahead seeing as I was busy with the wiring and I changed out the coil which I sus suspect is the issue why we're not getting any spark. So I didn't uh, zip tie any of the wiring harness down yet because uh, it might not be the fault and I might have to pull everything out again. But uh, before we can test that we need to fix the kickstarter. So we'll get to that but for now we're going to throw on the stand and the foot pegs so we can get the bike on the ground and torque down all the suspension. So you just slide the spring into the little retaining hole on the peg itself. Slide it into the frame and boom, installed. Alrighty, now it's time to install the kickstand. Slide the bolt through. is installed man i am stoked with the way it's going it's starting to look like a dirt bike for the electronics this is mostly just plugs for the cluster but the cluster is destroyed so most of the stuff is coming off as soon as we determined what is required and what's not and it'll just kind of sit here neatly behind the uh, uh, number plate because we are also not going to be doing a light on the bike all right so the first one up is the pivot nut and this one is going to 88 newton meters sorry up next we've got the shock bolts and they are going in at 39 newton meters lower shock bolt at the same torque setting 9 newton meters the remaining linkage bolts all going to 81 newton meters already got the engine bolts uh, torqued down to 44 newton meters now the steering stem head bolt also needs to go down to 44 newton meters and then last but not least we've got the triple clamp bolts and they are going in at 20 newton meters
all right so we are back and it is the next day so unfortunately things did not go as planned and uh, i was busy till late last night i got the coil swapped out but uh, unfortunately we were not able to test to see if the bikes got spark because i got the uh, well the issue turned out to be that the um spring for the kickstarter was not in the correct orientation i managed to get it into the correct orientation and on the second kick to test if there's spark um the spring broke so you can kick the bike but the kickstart mechanism doesn't engage properly and as you can see it does not spring back so the spring actually broke and i mean it's unfortunate but it is to be expected with old dirt bikes i mean this is a 1994 model so the bike's almost 30 years old and uh, it's to be expected fortunately um, this part matches up with that of the kx250 the two-stroke model obviously so we will be able to get a new spring and a new bushing and a new kickstart mechanism so uh, it's just a slight delay but uh, it is what it is that's uh, what you got to deal with when you try and rebuild an all dirt bike so in order so the video is not a total loss i'm going to bleed the front and the rear brakes so then at least we can walk away saying that the bike is officially a roller so uh, let's jump into that there we go at least it's not a total loss we can say the bike is officially a roller and it is looking pretty sick so far obviously we're going to change the tires and as soon as the plastic comes on the brake lines will be placed where they need to be so that's it for this video now we've got to source some more parts and uh, see if we can diagnose the spark issue and hopefully in the next video we can get the bike to run so uh, stick around for that if you haven't done it already hit the subscribe button hit the like button and stay tuned for more peace out and keep ripping